Russell Westbrook is typically a player you want on the court in late games. However, Lakers head coach Frank Vogel made a decision that was questioned by many in the Lakers' recent 111-104 to loss against the lowly Indiana Pacers. With just under four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter in Los Angeles clinging to a tight lead, Vogel replaced Westbrook with Malik Monk, sending Russ to the bench. Westbrook would remain on the bench as he watched the Lakers blow the lead and ultimately lose the game. With Frank Vogel's job reportedly on the line, many wondered why he took this risk. However, the Lakers' front office has supported this decision to pull Westbrook. So what does this mean? Is Westbrook destined for the bench? Westbrook has averaged just under 14 points, 7 rebounds, and 5 assists per game so far during the month of January. Additionally, the Lakers' prized offseason acquisition has continued to turn the ball over while failing to factor into any form of the Lakers' success. Is the media being overly harsh on Russ? Maybe. But that is what playing in L.A. and being paid $44 million will do when you struggle. So let's dig into what media members have been saying about the Lakers' Russell Westbrook dilemma. He's got the ball right there. A little spin in the lane. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. That's not the big moment here. Watch Russ on defense. Lackadaisical might be a compliment here. Watch. Karis LeVert gets the ball. Drives to the hoop. Not much from Westy. He was benched not long after that. I believe so, but only because his contract is so steep, mm. you're not going to find a whole bunch of takers. If his contract was movable, Westbrook would be gone tomorrow. I think the Lakers would make that call. And at the end of the day, this is what the bottom line came down to. You had an opportunity to get DeMar DeRozan. You didn't pursue it. You had an opportunity to get Buddy Hill from Sacramento, who's a sniper. The things that you didn't pursue was because Russell Westbrook went to LeBron. I want to be a Laker. I want to be a Laker. LeBron bought in, convinced Anthony Davis to buy in. As a result, you're Rob Palenka and Jeannie Buss. You feel compelled to buy in. Kirk, I'm going to start with you here. Was that the right decision by Vogel? <clears throat> it was. It was the right message. Um, you know, sometimes you have to send a message to certain play players, whether they're franchise guys, max guys, or whatever, to let them know that this won't be tolerated. And as we saw in the clip, look, Russ, you missed the shot of, uh, and, and didn't get back in transition, didn't give no effort on the defensive side of things, and that's just uncalled for. And so when you have a guy like LeBron James who comes out publicly on Twitter, on social media, and tell the Laker nation, Laker fans, whatever you want to call them, that he's going to be better, that's accountability. But their criticism is honestly valid. Russ has always been known for his 100% effort. But if he's going to give a lackluster effort on the defensive end while struggling on offense, a benching may be the best option. Frank Vogel made the correct decision in this game. But could Westbrook be productive from a bench role on a full-time basis? Here's a clip from a game earlier this year when Westbrook was on the court with LeBron. Westbrook has the ball at the top of the key in this play without another strong ball handler on the court. This allows Russ to work in a creative manner without worrying about another star on the court. This automatically enhances his court vision, which leads to this impressive pass for the assist. Blocking it was Nance, knocked it down. They zero it right in again, though, to Monk in the lane to lay it up. And Here are some more examples of Westbrook thriving while being the only perimeter star on the court. Good block by DeAndre Jordan. Days say enough about that secondary defender. Westbrook three! Nine boards for Westbrook. Oh, beautiful. Trent Neal at the lead pump with the finish. Eighth assist for Westbrook. Westbrook charges, goes in here, a layup, he backs it in. One point game. Granted, Anthony Davis is on the court with him in some of these plays, but as long as Westbrook is the main perimeter star, he can be successful. So placing Westbrook in the second unit might be the right move if the Lakers can't move him via trade. He could lead the second unit and develop a more comfortable role in that position. So what might the future entail for the point guard? Before we continue, just a quick reminder to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below for a chance to win a free PS5 or Xbox One with a copy of NBA 2K22. The winner of the free giveaway will be announced once we reach 5,000 subscribers on the channel. There were stirrings earlier this season about Westbrook coming off the bench. In fact, two weeks into the regular season, former Bulls head coach Jim Boylan stated, quote, what about maybe coming off the bench and playing against the backup, making other guys better? He's a willing passer. He tries to make people better. He plays full bore, which we respect. He's tough as nails, but his decisions need to improve. Charles Barkley agreed and shared his opinion on that matter. I would play Russ with the second unit, speed them up, and make them play full court. Because in the half court, you're going to LeBron or AD, because they're the two best players. But Russ, we're not going to run plays with him. He's not a great shooter. So put him out there with the second unit and let them play much faster. That's what I would do. And those comments were made prior to the Lakers' recent struggles. It seems more evident than ever now for a move. 
Removing Westbrook from the starting rotation could lead to starting gigs for defensive-minded players and spot-up shooters such as Stanley Johnson or Malik Monk. Both of those players could exist better with LeBron James. What do you think? Should the Lakers move Westbrook to the second unit? Should they fire Frank Vogel? And before you go, remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below for a chance to win a free PS5 or Xbox One with a copy of NBA 2K22. And don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss any future content we have in store.